We're right now boiling the kettle. I'm um, sorting out some medication for my rat one one whose eye infection is persisting. Um, I've got uh, some eye drops just here that I'm going to give him in a second. Um, I won't be able to show you any of that because it's just me and I need both hands to do it. Um, but I was at the vet's now. He has to have an oral, um, an oral anti-inflammatory for his eye infection. Now, the problem is, oh, where's the cat? Uh, camera, camera, camera. Okay. The problem is, on a syringe this tiny, you have to get. 0 0.01 mil. Now, tiny amounts like this in an oral medication is really difficult to do. I mean, it's a tiny syringe and it's, I mean, I can't even get close enough to it. Now, the trick to getting the exact amount that you need is pulling the syringe out to about 2 mil. It's kind of hard to see, I know. And I'm sorry about this, but what can you do? Okay, so I pull the syringe out to 0 0.2 mil. And, okay, I've just got to look at it. I can't look at it through the, through the lens. And then pop it in and pull it out a little bit. Oh, no, that's too little. And so you can pull out 0 0.01 mil. Um, and it's, it works out to about that much. And uh, the reason why you should do it this way is if it's an oral medication, if you were to pull 0 0.01 mil out, it would get partly way up the tube, but it would kind of get stuck in the tube. Now, when I push the plunger all the way down, it will push it out. There'll be some air behind it, and that way it will, uh, I guess, discharge the entire tiny little amount, which I've just used the syringe to pull up just a little bit more into this part but it's easier to measure out that way that way it gets all used up and it's easier to do this way